Brad says, have you ever been so mad at a referee that you wanted to angrily take out the referee? I've never been that angry, but trust me, referees coming from Scotland playing football to America playing football have came close to feeling the wrath of Francis Maxwell. Ah, well, uh, in John Jay High School versus Marble Falls in San Antonio, Texas, the last minute of a game, uh, the names of these two players have not been released yet, but they did target a referee after uh, the ref was hit. Two Jays players were uh, ejected on separate plays. So it seemed like this was out of anger. Here's the video to show you exactly what happened. An official from behind as the play began, slamming him to the ground. Both players were ejected from the game. Now their hit came after two of their teammates were also ejected from the contest. So, look, I totally understand being mad at a ref mm -hmm. and verbally assaulting a ref. You can yell whatever the hell you want at him. If you're mad at the game, if you're mad at a call, if you're mad at a penalty, that you can't do. Oh, no. And there's really no defense for it because what frustrates me about that is, A, Get your players on the control, coach. Like, if your players are getting ejected and, and you're mad about that, and it, maybe the coach didn't know. Regardless, the second even a ref sees that or another player, that ref was blindsidedly yeah. targeted. There was no, oops, I'm sorry I ran into you. There was no, oh, you were in the line of play. No, it was a very clear cut. And I've, I'm, I'm outraged about it because I've seen comments Oh, after the plays, the ref deserved it. No, he fucking didn't. No. You out of your mind? Well, the, the thing is, is not only have they just done, obviously they've dragged the name of their high school through the dirt now, but like, I don't know in terms of these kids, but I, I imagine anyone who plays high school football, I know everyone plays it for fun, but if you are, if you're playing high school football, then you're also thinking about potentially going forward, maybe playing college football, it doesn't have to be the highest mm -hmm. division, but you're going to play like, they've just completely tarnished their whole hope of playing, I think, at, at a higher level or going on to even play football further because well, what's the, the punishment for that surely has got to be up there with a, a, one of the highest bands you can get. The punishment might be criminal because uh, the referee who has not expressed that he's going to press charges yet, they might be under investigation for assault. Yeah, well, it's it like it, you get whiplash. When you're, not take, when you're taken back from that, that, that power, you, you obviously there, there could be damage done there. To me, what, again, it's still, again, what frustrates me the most is I read the comments via the Deadspin article, via uh, Huffington Post, and there's, because uh, some of these link back to Facebook, and of course you can't get too outraged with the internet because there's fools in the world, and that's what some of those people were writing. Mm -hmm. For example, the pussification of America, that ref deserved it after he made such a bad call. No, the ref deserved to be told to fuck off. <laughs> that's what he deserved to no. happen to him, if anything, because I've been frustrated playing sports you've been frustrated playing sports but when you take your helmet and spear it into the back of a uh, a referee the same weekend and I know this is a drastic comparison the same weekend where a one high school football player football player died on the football field yeah. and the other high school football player has five broken vertebrae and paralyzed yeah you can't tell me any ref deserves well, that. how do you know that how, how do they know doing that that how are they so sure that with that we talked about the the heavy padding like that referee's not get padding he's nothing he's just no, fully he's, exposed he's how do they know that he doesn't they don't cause some severe damage right there because That's he's weird. not prepared so right. that right there is, is a clear example of just sheer stupidity but also this brings up another point right and this is why everyone laughed and joked about the whole Clint Dempsey thing when he took the referee's notebook which is way different compared to this but when you cross that line and you go and you you physically are in contact with the referee. You're jeopardizing everything because they're there to try and officiate the game. And I know, trust me, I know how frustrating a referee can be. I got a yellow card and was suspended for a crucial game by yelling fuck. Just at, at myself. Just by yelling. And you're trying to tell me I, 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 I was so angry because I had, it was a crucial game next game. And I wanted to just, uh, I, I mean, in your mind, you're like, I hate that referee. Oh, my God, I could just knock him out. But you restrain yourself because you're on a playing field and the game's there if the referee wasn't there making these calls, and they're putting themselves out there, they're, they're, they're trying to help the game, obviously their calls, they see things different, there's no way you take action like that. And then people will make light of it. People will joke, oh, did you see that referee getting speared down? But when you start doing that and you start crossing line at, line at sports, it doesn't surprise me that this happened in American football, where it seems like the only way to take out your frustration is through anger. Right. Uh, moving forward with that, there's a quote from... The Austin officials, and I agree with you on everything you just said. But a uh, quote from the Austin uh, officials, if we can see that quote real quick. So the first thing we want is that those two kids never play football again. That's Wayne Elliott, Austin Football Officials Association. So, again, the names haven't been released of these two players. Um, they're just their numbers, 89. And I'm misinterpreting my handwriting for the second number that hit the <laughs> ref. But the whole point of this, really, to me, is that football has enough problems as it is, enough major, major issues as it is from mm. everywhere now, from the high school level to the
professional level and college in between. The last thing we need is is high school football in Texas where it's it's glorified. In Texas, football is the biggest thing. Yeah. It, I mean, uh, Friday Night Lights, if you've heard of the movie, yeah, you've heard right. of the book, yeah. kind of exemplifies how important football is to the state of Texas. You don't need your players targeting refs. Again, yeah. it's very simple. I know I curse a lot on TYT Sports. I know you do too. But there is an appropriate response to that, and you simply go to the ref and tell them to fuck off. Yeah. it's, And that's what the point is. is it brings up the larger issue. As we've talked about this before, it is not a coincidence. It is not. I don't care what you want to say, that the domestic violence... Uh, and the issues off the field all just happen in football. It is an issue. It is an issue that some of these athletes are trained to go and, and just take out all their anger and frustration on an opponent. That's what they're trained to do. It's like they're almost robotic. Like their coaches are telling them, all right, this guy needs to get this ball. You do not let him touch that ball. You kill him if you need to, like just in that sense. You tell him that. So when it comes to issues that frustrate you, the only way most, I mean, I'm not talking about football players as a whole. I know a bunch and they're so nice and genuine guys. But when you see in the headlines, Ray Rice, and you see hear the stories of Adrian Peterson and you hear all these guys, it's almost as if they don't know how to act any other way. It's almost as if violence is the only thing that, that gets their message across. And in this example, these two kids have probably went in a conversation and went, you know what, I fucking hate that referee. I don't know what we're going to do. And the other guys went, oh, let's just go and tackle Let's just resort to violence because that's the only way we know how to deal with. And that's an issue that needs to be targeted through, from an early age in football. Maybe it, th it'd be through, I don't know, group therapy. It sounds ridiculous, but group therapy lessons to tell people that there is other ways to get your message across through your words, through controlling yourself, through just being a mature adult, and obviously these kids are younger, they're not in that same category, but you gotta take some, you gotta take this into consideration that it happens in this sport a hell of a lot. Uh, so, I'm curious what the audience thinks. Yeah, oh, so am I. And to leave their comments in the comment section below on whether or not you think that these two players should face criminal charges. Personally, I don't think they should face no, criminal charges. No, I don't charges. think so. You what don't I wanna do, ruin the, the kids. What I do think that should happen though, take away what it seems like they love most, don't let them play football ever again. Yeah. You wanna mess up like that, you wanna be a violent asshole on the field, take it away from them. Yeah. And I know, understand that that could affect for some kids scholarships like this and that, but use this as an example. It's always too late where an example is set, for, exa uh, for example, the Ray Ray situation, but this is where you can step up your game, at least in football in Texas, and tell them, Look, yeah, that's not going to be accepted. And you don't want to ruin someone. You don't want to ruin kids' no, 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 lives. You, and you like, don't. You don't, don't want to ruin that. But it, so don't give them criminal yeah, charges. That's but, very yeah, simple. Yeah, but you got to just you got to take into account that other people are going to be like, oh, he deserved it. And in, in the Ray Rice situation, oh, she hit him first and, and stuff yes, like that. What did yes. that referee do right there? Yes, like, uh, he, he, he I want I want to reiterate that point. Those people are stupid. Yeah. And I'm sorry that it sounds like I'm attacking people who might even end up commenting on our video, but that's what you are. If you think a ref deserves that, you are stupid. End of story. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe this video, and make sure to comment with all your comments in the comments section below. Francis underscore Maxwell, Jason Rubin 91, and at TYT Sports. <laughs>